Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be testing out a new lash brand. I recently had a representative from Cavalli Lashes reach out to me, and they sent me a PR package with some lashes, and I have to admit, I do get a lot of emails from a lot of different, like, smaller brands asking if they can send me stuff or for videos and whatnot, and I, I really do turn most of them down, just because some of them don't look, you know, some of them aren't, What's the best way of saying they look sketchy? Some of them just look sketchy, right? But when Cavalli reached out, because I do my research, I check out their website, I go through everything, and I saw their colored lashes. Um, so I was sent two pairs of their colored lashes, and they're stunning. And this is why I wanted to try these out for you guys. They not only sent me these beautiful, colorful lashes, which I'm actually going to be wearing these ones later today. They also sent me a good selection of their quote-unquote more natural lashes, the black lashes, the really glam lashes, to test out as well well. So this video is going to be split kind of into two main parts. The first part I'm going to be showing you basically a talk through of the products that I was sent, what I think about their price points, what I think about the quality, and first impression. So I am going to put on a colored lash today because I did this eye look to actually match the yellow and pink lashes. I think it's going to look really really pretty. And then I'm also going to do a first impression with one of the more glam kind of more black lashes. Those will be two first impressions filmed on two different days. And then we're going to split and the last half of the video is going to be after I've had time to really test this out, do several wear, like full day wear tests with most of the lashes, if not all of the lashes, including both of the lash glues that they sent me. And I'm going to come and give you my final thoughts. So there might be as much as a few weeks in between like this first half of the video and the conclusion part of the video. And I do it this way because I don't want to just come on here and do a first impression with products that I was just sent in PR and like not give you guys a lot of information you know I really want to test these out and see if the products are actually worth you picking up so let's start with the products that they sent me they sent me quite a few pairs of lashes so looking at their website they actually sent me what looks like their number one like best-selling style which is Scorpio and I'm gonna go ahead and put in here some close-up looks at all the lashes I was sent So those are the lashes. As you can see, they're definitely more dramatic, which is also something I was pretty excited about. I went for someone who like never wore lashes ever to someone who got comfortable wearing lashes and different types of lashes. And these, these are like the bomb it, it, lashes Instagram baddies wear that you see like on social media and you're like, oh my God, it looks so cool, but I can never pull it off. That's also why I wanted to try these out because I want to, I want to see, I want to see if I can pull them off. Who knows? So looking at their website, it looks like all of their lashes are under $10. I have not seen a pair yet that are over $10. Um, and I see there's actually a sale right now. So most of them are actually right around like $5. Without the sale, it looks like the typical price for a lash set from them, which is just one pair of lashes, is around $8. They also sent me both of their lash glues. They do make their own lash glue in clear and in black, and these retail for right around $4.99 each. Last but not least, they sent me a lash applicator that actually feels really nice and like sturdy, and these retail on their website for $2.99. So I have been excited to try these out ever since I got them, so let's go ahead and actually try to put a pair on. And what I really want to wear today are this pair. These are called the Sunsets, and they're just beautiful. Let me pull them out. So these are the Sunsets, and they're beautiful. It looks like pink lemonade. It inspired my eye look today. I used a combination of three different palettes for the most part. I used my 2021 Pan That Palette, the Lila. I also used the ABH Riviera palette for most of the darker pinks. And then I used on my inner corner highlight, I picked a shade from the... I forgot the name of the palette. From the Rose Divine 2, Divine Rose 2 palette from Pat McGrath. I was really just going for like a nice 
pink yellow moments. I've got a yellow lower lash line. I've got pink on the top and I just think it's going to look really pretty. So, 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 so. I think for these, I did do black line liner. Um, these don't have a black lash band, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I did want to do a thin line right there. And that's why I really want to use the clear uh, lash glue here. So let me get a mirror. Let's measure. I measured it and I'm gonna have to trim off at least like one band of the lashes just because it's a little too big for my eye. Though I do have pretty small eyes, so I don't know if everyone would have to cut off as much as I'm about to cut off. And just for reference, this is the one little bundle that I cut off to make it match my eye shape. All right, so I am going to curl my lashes real quick. I didn't actually wanna put mascara on because these are light and bright. I didn't wanna put like black mascara on my natural lashes. So I think I'm just gonna curl them up into these lashes and see how they blend. Because my lashes, they're fairly light compared to the rest of my hair color. They actually look brown. Whereas like the rest of the hair that grows on me, which ooh, TMI, apologies, but everything else is black, so. There we go. I'm going to take the white lash glue. Let's see. Okay. It's just a regular brush applicator. And here, I don't know if I can show it on camera. It looks like one that applies white and then dries clear. So I'm just going to coat the band and then let it dry down for a little bit before I actually put it on. Okay, so I will say you can see a little bit of like the clear lash band right there. So I don't know if I should go over this with liner, but like overall with the eyeshadow, it looks cute. <gasps> All right, let's see if I can do just as good of a job on the other side. I feel like Effie Trinket. <laughs> wow. Okay. I struggled a little bit with the lash glue on the last like outer third over here, but like seeing them on, it's a look. It is a look. Now, I kind of wish I had gone further down with the the shadow on my lower lash line because I feel like I need more to like make it pop. So now that they're on and the glue is fully dried, this, yeah, they're on, okay. I did have a little struggle out here, but the glue is finally dried down and they're there. It looks really cute. I like this. So as for how they feel, I thought they would feel heavier considering how big they are, but like they don't feel any heavier than like a normal pair of glam lashes. I do feel them all the way up here. Like I could feel them touch like my eyebrows, which is kind of a funny, which is kind of odd, uh, but like not in a bad way. It's like, hmm, there's there's stuff there <laughs> that, that was not there before. Um, overall, I like this. It's not irritating my eyes any more than, you know, normal lash wear. I gotta say, I gotta say, it's a really comfortable lash band, and they did go on fairly easily, with the exception of the struggle I had for the outer corner over here. They went on really nicely. So we'll see if the rest of the pairs go on as nicely. So I'm gonna keep these on for the rest of today. I actually have another video, maybe two, to film this afternoon, and then I'm gonna have this on for the rest of the evening. The next section you'll see will be me trying on a more natural or a black lash before we jump into my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and jump there. Okay guys, so it's a couple of days later, I'm going to test out another pair of the Cavalli lashes. I really wanted to try these out. So these are very dramatic and these are the Scorpio lashes. I believe, looking on their website, this is actually their best selling pair of lashes. So you can see it's like a super full cat eye, which to me looks, you know, sounds awesome. So I've already measured it. I am going to have to cut off a little bit on the end, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, and this is what it looks like after I cut it off. You see those little tufts? of like sections of lashes i essentially just cut off one of those on the end and whenever you cut lashes you always want to make sure you do it from the outer corner and not from the inner corner so i will say this is a much fuller set of lashes and so i did kind of get hair a little bit everywhere when i had to cut them down just a little bit i'm going to go ahead and use the clear lash glue again i thought about using the black lash glue for this look because i did go with a more dramatic cat eye and ignore the fact that my liner is uneven you know 
I tried my best. I've not done like big cat eyes for like a while. So like I'm rusty, pretty rusty. But I wanted to keep, I really wanted to test out the clear lash glue a few times. Then I want to separately test out the black lash glue a few times. So I've got a good amount on. I'm going to let it sit for like 30-ish seconds before I put them on. Alright, so I have to admit, I struggled a lot more trying to get this lash on. I think it's partly due to how thick the lash band is. It is much thicker than the other style. Um, and it was also pretty difficult to get both the inner corner and the outer glued down. Like, it seemed like whenever I put one down, the other side would pop up and then vice versa. So, I don't know if I have to like just do this to make sure it's extra curled, but they seem pretty curled. I just don't know why it was difficult gluing them. Anyway, I think this eye is as good as it's gonna get currently. Yeah, and I will say the inner corner on these, I should have trimmed down this slightly because the band peeks out a little bit from the lash and that was not comfortable, I have to admit. So I'm gonna trim that slightly on the other side so that the band is just flush with the actual lash and then let's see if it's any better on the other side. Okay, so this side honestly went on 10 times easier and better. <laughs> I also didn't let the glue dry down as much before I plopped them on. I plopped them on and they were still a little wet. Um, and then I literally held it in place. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is like take this side off again. I'm going to trim the inner corner because I don't like the excess lash band on the inner corner. And then I'm going to try putting them on again. So hang tight. Okay, so despite the crazy amount of lash glue that is currently on my right eye, I think that went a lot better this time. All right, so they look super dramatic. This is not, at least for me, an everyday lash by any stretch of the imagination. This is like special pictures, fancy, fancy kind of lashes, you know? Um, it is curious to see how much of a difference the lashes make when there's a thick lash band versus a thin lash band. And I'll definitely talk about that in my final wrap up once I've had more time to also test out the rest of the styles and see if there's any differences in lash bands as well. So like before, I will keep these on for the rest of my day, continue testing out the rest of the lashes, and then the next segment we should fast forward to future Monica for final thoughts. All right, guys, so it's a while later. I've had these for a couple of weeks. I've tested them all out, and now I'm ready to give you my final thoughts. Also, please ignore my eyeliner. I've been trying to do wings again, and like I totally forgot how to do a wing on my left eye, so the wing looks a little bit iffy. Anyway, <laughs> talking about the lashes. So I got four different types of lashes from Cavalli, and my thoughts on them really differ by the type of lash. So the first type of lash from their artistry collection, which are the colored lashes, I love these. I love these so much, and I think these are so unique to Cavalli. I'm looking at their collection. They have like a dozen different colors of just lashes, and I want all of them, especially like they have this really pretty like blonde gold lash set. I want those, um, and these are just so comfortable. They have a super, super thin lash band, but the lashes themselves are bright and lush and beautiful. Like these are probably like my favorite from all the lashes. They also have a pair of like black and green lashes. I want those black and green lashes. Ooh, a Slytherin look of those. Ooh. Next, let's move on to the 3D Mink Lashes, which according to their website, these are like their best sellers, especially the pair Scorpio. Apparently, this is like the number one best selling pair of lashes on the site. Uh, not a fan. Honestly, these were just so thick and the lash band was so thick. These are really hard to get on. And then once they were on, they just felt really heavy. And while they looked pretty nice, it was hard to get them all the way on. Like this is the lash where I had issues with the outer corner popping off, the inner corner popping off. Same thing happened. And I did try it with different lash glues. I did kind of get the same result. So unfortunately, I just think maybe for my eye shape, just because I do have smaller eyes, I just don't think this kind of big lash style fits. And so this just didn't, these did not work for me. Next, we have the 3D Silk Lashes. And honestly, these, I really like these. I think these were my favorite of the, the black lashes that I got. I got two styles. I got Kali, Kaylee, K-A-L-I, and Layla. And these, these are just so comfortable. Like you, you barely feel these are on, but I love the designs here because they're dramatic, but they don't feel like heavy and you don't feel 
like they don't feel as bad as like these other ones wearing them right they have a really thin lash band they applied really easily they looked beautiful i i loved the looks that i got with these two um so so far uh, my favorites are the colored lashes and then the 3d silk lashes make sure you look for the 3d silk and last but not least we have the faux mink lashes i'm actually wearing one of those today these are the lashes in ariel and then i also got a pair of lashes these are the milan lashes honestly these ones are all right i really do like the silk ones better so i would say go for the pink boxes or the 3d silks over the faux mink because they're quite honestly i don't see too much of a difference in the styles available but i will say those other ones are more comfy than these ones these have a slightly thicker lash band so they're not the most comfortable the other ones were more, more comfortable the 3d silk so i would say go for those especially if you're still a beginner um but like these they look really pretty but not the most comfortable as for the tools they sent, so the lash glue and then the applicator. I actually like the applicator. This thing's only a couple of dollars and it feels hefty. It doesn't feel like a cheap little thing that, like I've had cheaper feeling and looking lash applicators before that have actually cost me more money. So I actually do like this. One thing though is that it's just for me because I think I'm still quite a beginner at lashes i don't use this for full application if anything i use this to hold the lash while i blow on it and wait for the glue to dry down a little bit and then i place it on first but then whenever i go in and do adjustments i just use my hands um so i mean it works great for that but but to be honest if i were out shopping i probably wouldn't have picked this up as for the lash glues we have a black lash glue and a clear lash glue my preference was just for the clear but that's in general i do just like clear lash glue but better than black lash glue just nine times out of ten i'll reach for it this is on par with the duo lash glue to be honest if you are already placing an order with cavalli it might be worth it to pick these up because these are only around four dollars each and it does work really well it's not my favorite lash glue of all time though i do still really like the shop mise lash glue so if you're on a budget I would probably pick that one up and then just stick with some of my favorite lashes from the actual Cavalli website. So out of all of these, I picked my top three lash styles. And of course, for number one and number two, I had to pick the colored ones. These are the lashes in Sunset and these are the lashes in Taurus. They're just so pretty and I see all the colors and I want more. If there's one thing you get from Cavalli, to be quite honest, the colored lashes are something I don't see really anywhere else. So I really would recommend you pick up a pair of the colored lashes if you're interested. Then my favorite of the regular black lashes are actually the Layla's. I love how comfortable these are and how like, uh, ex not not filled in but there's the style of these is just so cute and it looks really adorable like this is what i want like out of an instagram lash this is a very instagram lash not an everyday lash by any means this is more of a cute instagram photo special occasion kind of lash but these this one was my favorite out of the rest of those lashes so those are all of my thoughts about Cavalli lashes. Let me know down below if you've ever tried them or if you're interested, because I am definitely interested. I'm looking at it right now in the rest of those colored lashes. And like I said before, that's the main reason why I accepted PR from the company, because I was just really, really impressed by how their colored lashes look. And I'm happy to report the colored lashes are amongst my favorites, and they're really, really comfy, and they look awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.